Alright, this is Norman Yeo from Tangy Lab again. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you on how you can actually create your first ad image through using some free resources, even if you do not have Photoshop. So of course, for those of you who have Photoshop, uh, you will have an added advantage. But for those who don't, uh, I've actually make it simple for you. Uh, so the first thing I want you to do is actually to go this in, in your pre-training uh, page one. Look at this ad template. I have to simplify the process where you have created an ad template. Uh, what I want you to do is just right click. For those who are using Windows, it will be save target as. For those who are using Mac, it will be download link file. So I just want you to download the link file. And when it's downloaded, the next thing I want you to do is actually to go to uh, Google. Okay. And to Google this thing called Pixel. P-I-L-X-R. Okay, so when you see this, uh, go to Pixel Editor. So just to give you a bit of introduction, Pixel Editor is basically a very uh, simplified kind of Photoshop uh, and it's actually made free by Autodesk. So basically they earn through the ads and etc. But uh, basically we can use this for free and, and this is a good start for all of us. So after downloading the image, what we do is just click on Open Image from Computer. Okay, and look for that file. So add template, then you open it, and there you have something like this. Okay, so this is the black column and this is the white column. Uh, just to share with you very quickly, when we do the ads, right, uh, it's actually on this size, which is 1200 times 628 pixel. And on Facebook, all our ads have a visual rule, which is a 20% text rule, which means on your ads, uh, you cannot have more than 20% text. To illustrate, right, let me just show you this. Okay, so on the back end, uh, this is what I do. I use it on Photoshop. And you can see that this is also 1002 by 625. And what happens is it's being divided into 25 little boxes. So what does it mean by 20% no text rule? Let me just share with you. Let's say if I have to type, Hi, I am Norman Yo. So I... If I were to position the text like this, I am using three box. However, if I were to position the text like this, I'm using six box because one box, two box, three box, six, uh, four box, five box, six box. So essentially, uh, when it's twenty percent out of twenty five boxes, it means that you can only use up to a maximum of five boxes. So going back to pixel, how I've simplified this for you is I've basically created this black bar. And uh, you can put all the amount of text you want here and it will be within 25%. So you can use this to put the text and down here you can put the visual and your ads may actually turn out to look something like this. Okay, your ads may actually turn out to look something like this. So this is actually one of those very effective ads that's worked well for me also. Okay, and this is all within the 20% text rule. So what I'm teaching you is at this moment is really something that you can implement immediately too. Yeah. Uh, and so I just want you to get started with. Um, of course, when it comes to this, there's a few things that you need to do. The first thing is you need to be able to add text. So I want you to start adding text. Uh, just click on this button, which you see on the lower right, there's an A. Click at the top here and then just start typing. Uh, change your color to white color since it's a black background. Okay, and you just say, uh, I am offering something really awesome. You can just press enter and uh, please click here to buy. So do not worry too much about the content at this moment because that's something which we will go through at the course. Uh, what I want to do in this course now is, what I want to do in this video now is really to just help you to understand the technical stuff and we will get the, the technical stuff out of the way so during the course we can focus on the main stuff okay so now you have a text uh, the next thing that you want to do is to add an image so i just want you to go to google okay and uh, if you know a little bit more about your target market or if there's any images of events those are certain images that you can use but if you do not have anything uh, at the moment uh, let's just start off with something more simple first Let's just start by googling maybe Asian uh, smiling uh, woman. Okay, then just click on images 
and we just find one images let's say uh all right maybe huh maybe okay maybe i like this image i can okay maybe i can use this image so you just right click save image to the uh save image as yeah do not worry about all this copyright issue first uh in the course i'll actually find i'll actually share with you on how you can find images uh that that, that have no copyright issue or if there's copyright issue uh how can we actually uh purchase them at, at a very very low cost okay so once you're back once you downloaded the images come back to pixel click on layer click on open image as a layer then just find the visual okay and you can add in okay so once i've added the image uh, as you can see the image is too big uh, all you need to do is just press ctrl t then this is actually a free transform tool you just need to make it a bit smaller okay just adjust it to how you're comfortable with and yep this is perhaps good to go Okay, so once you have something like this, what we do next is just click on file, click on save, and just, yep, just set it to the highest quality, or maybe just, I think, just put it at 90 would be good enough. Okay, and then you just click OK, and save. And there you go, you have your add image. Okay, so during the course, make sure you have this add image uh, ready. Uh, it doesn't need to be fantastic. I just want you all to have something ready so that when we start working on the ads, you can start working on it immediately. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thank you.